All right, we'll call the Capital uh, Frontier Capital Improvement Committee to order. And I do not have a minute for that. She didn't put it in the packet, so she yes, I don't, I don't we have the packet. But the agenda tonight. No, just <laughs> um, so the agenda tonight is to discuss, um, pick up where we left off, discussing the FY23 projects and uh, and such. And so Shelly has created a agenda kind of outline and she can kind of walk us through to get everybody up to speed again. Folks on the screen, let us know if you have trouble hearing us. We got one of these weird space age microphones that said it picks up everything. It does pick up everything, so don't whisper to each other. All right. We're not the whispering type, but okay. All right. <laughs> well, let's cover this microphone and then you know we're kind of no comment. Uh, so we have $930,000 out right now in borrowed funds, uh, two separate bands, both come due July 15th. Uh, we are paying interest only on very low interest rates. So the first band was 3.4%, the second 3.7%. So we are under $3,000 for the assessment for FY23. You can see the breakdown there by town. Um, I think Darius started this conversation last time um, because it may be that we're not looking to request capital money for Frontier for next year. It might be in the best interest for the towns to consider paying down a portion of the 930000 And when we renew on July 15th, we'll renew for the lesser amount. I don't believe that all towns have to agree to do that. Any of the four can, from what I understand. We just need to plan accordingly for towns and for our purposes. Do you want to talk about that further? So, yeah, I mean, I'd like to get people's thoughts on that. Um, I think we got enough, not enough, but you know, there's only so many projects, we have a capacity of how many projects we can take on at once, um, given you know, our personnel and bill and, and, shell and, and such. Um, so, if, you know, that was the idea. We do know, as through our conversations, that there's some other big projects that are going to come down the pipe eventually, including the roof. Um, which we'll talk about more in a little bit, but the, the whole roof and getting this this one loan down where we may have to go after another in, in due time would make sense when we start talking about our planning five, seven years out instead of you know making this loan take 10 years um, and paying so little in the first couple of years and you know, shifting those monies on. So I mean, those are conversations, I guess, it's a town, it's really select board conversations. Um, in the sense of what they, what, how they want to do that, but on our side is that, I guess my, my, my thing to the select board is if we decide to recommend the Frontier not do any capital projects, you know, it, we got to hope the town understands that, you know, that we were doing that so that they could put money toward the loan, you know. Um, so, thoughts on, on that or on that approach? So. Yeah, so I mean, I'm I'm just from Conway, but um, I, I'm not in favor of skipping a year for capital requests. I think that these are sort of budgetary muscles that, if they're not con if they're not annually exercised, they can atrophy. And uh, um, we're, I, I and and just I, I'd rather pay a little bit every year than a lot one year. So. Um, and I just and you know you still have needs. I mean, you, uh, I'm okay with making it a modest request, even a very modest request. But I think a very modest request is better than no request at all. Okay. Could you make the request for paying down the debt sort of in lieu of for projects to say you know the capital request, but just to pay down rather than more specific. Right, but I, you know, I th there. I think that there's a fine line there. I think we can do both to to some extent, and that you, the, the building's needs don't skip a year just because we want to pay something down a little bit. I, right, but um, I hear what you're saying there. I hear what you're saying there. Instead of like leading up to town, we actually tell them we want to, we're actually going to take a hundred thousand dollars, divide it up by the how yeah. the, the assessment of the town members, and say to each group. This is what we'd like you to pay out this year. The thing about the loan, Phil, though, is, is which is got me worried is that 
right now nobody's paying anything yet. We haven't really, we're only paying the interest. We're not actually paying, you know, the, the substance of it. So it's a fake, it's a fake bond that we have out right now because it hasn't come through. And then it's gonna you're gonna have the sticker shock to the town when it does come through in in two years. And so I'd rather kind of pay that down while start to pay that down because I, I am worried about I am worried about the the, the roof eventually five seven years out when we I'm, I'm talking about when we actually begin the project you know five seven years out and we're going to have to go for funding for that there's no way so just on the size of it that we are, this bond is already manageably smaller and that was my thought there and phil to address your point of the muscle memory to pay down some of this now would sort of start those muscles <laughs> right, it's a double muscle memory. It's a we are actually putting a warrant on to start the payment early, and it's starting the payment. So those payments will, will continue and get bigger over time. You get right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and, well, and two, when you think about, it, we're looking at there's going to be a rate increase in March, possibly one early. Late June, early July, depending on. I don't like the Fed meetings. Again. They said there might be one every quarter this year. Yes, I yeah, would have three or four this year. Yeah. Um, and if inflation keeps going up, then I'd expect even more. Yeah. yeah. When we hit the roof, we know we're going to be paying the higher rate for that. Right. So, I think, yeah, I think maybe we do want to put some of it out. But maybe figure out a way to still keep some stuff going. I feel like in New York State, just do a modest request just to keep things rolled. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, like, did you have a number for the model oh. request? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Me, we were just kind of saying, like, would we do a, you know, some sort of even number of a hundred thousand, yep. and then you know your your assessment of a hundred thousand, you know, basically, um, you know, deal fields fifty, Sunderland is twenty one, no thirty one one, so it's twenty. The 20 so the assessments are built, the percentages are different because they're over the five year enrollment. Okay. So we would build this assessment the same as we build our regular budget okay. assessment. So Deerfield's just shy of 50, Sunderland's 23, Conway's 17 almost, and Waverly's just over 11. So if we go to 100, we can do easy math there. So it's not just a thousand. They can still tackle some things. So the question we are, we don't have anything on the list. I mean, we didn't bring anything unless you can think of some way up in so that you think was going to pull the stuff that's going on. You could do that. Let's um let's look at these other projects so we can get a full picture of the full kind of agenda because it may bring us back around. Um so we'll come back to that. Right now, you want to go through the secretary of the um we, these are the excess funds. Yeah, we had talked about this a little bit last time and had some additional questions. So, currently, of the three hundred thousand that we borrowed in December, there's eighty three thousand five hundred eleven dollars remaining. We do not currently have any flooring projects that aren't already allocated within these funds or the HVAC. So, what we're recommending is that we take that eighty three. Look for additional flooring projects that could be done that we hadn't necessarily planned for, but they could be in the works in the coming years. Tackle those, and then put fifty thousand of that towards the AC project, which still falls under the original boat because it's HVAC. So we're, we're not outside of the scope of the original project. We're just adding an additional item to that. So the HVAC is the big piece, um, but one of the big, two big pieces, the HVAC and the tennis courts, right? That we've been talking about. Yeah. Um, so which back is estimated at 135,000. So if we take 50 from existing money that we've already borrowed, and then the recommendation is to fund the rest with school choice funds. Start the project, I guess. I don't know what the summer could build. But that's what we're looking at right now. The other option is, you know, we just let that 83 sit until something else comes up with HVAC or carpet. School committee could vote to reallocate that 83,000 of unspent funds to one of the others. So LMC upgrade has not been done yet. The money could be put there. The roof, the money could be put there. You can't use it for any new project that wasn't in the original vote. So as long as it falls within the scope of those six or now we're down to five things, um, 
even if it, you know, this room's carpet was on the list, it's okay. It's still flooring. We can still still tackle it, but we couldn't put it towards the tennis. This one wasn't. It's just, it is. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so, some of the flooring issues that Bill was, was explaining to us that you can see when you're walking around the halls is that areas where the floor, the, the ground is uneven, um, you're starting to see where the burnishers are burning with the tile, the you know, tile crack tile. So there's a lot of those kind of repairs throughout, including one entryway that's really come out of uneven over time and it's popping tiles and, and it's catching the machinery and stuff. So um, that's kind of what we're looking at when we're talking about when people are wondering if we're being, you know, what are you spending it on? You're going to put in, you know, Oriental carpets in George's office? You know, you know, we're looking at some of the, you know, getting some of the, you know, the wear and tear to tiles and that kind of stuff that wasn't. But eventually, we'll be coming back on the list somewhere else. So, they pull the tiles, putting blood more on there. Than Love plastic. Yeah. Yeah. It is the 135 for the AC net, or is there any ever source contribution that would go into that? No, it was all VMS upgrades. Okay. Building management system, yep. But the AC, no, the, no, the 135. Oh, the, the AC on the third floor? Yeah. yeah. Right. That would that will involve ever source, yes. Okay, so we don't have a net of 135 that has to go into that. That'll, that'll cover what 30 percent on that. So so right, you're correct. So we're looking at 135 minus the right. the credits we'd be getting for that. But we, we budget the whole thing so we, we don't know how that's going to land out and the right. savings again on all that. Okay, so they do it as a prepaid or how do they do that? I don't know. It's called an incentive. Okay. So is that where they're giving us the money up front and we pay the loan through the electric bill? Yeah, they, they do their 30% up front, and then you then you have the option of, of breaking your 70% up through the electric bill, yes. Okay. At 0%. At 0%. So there's no. that. So even that, that 1585 is not direct outlay this year. It'll be reduced by the 40 and then spread out over the year of an electric bill. Or you can pay for it up front. Well, you can have your electric bill. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be stipulated. And our electric bill went, no, I don't believe so. Our electric bill went way down when we converted last year to all LEDs, mm -hmm. but we haven't really been able to see that because of COVID and windows open and so, yeah. you know, using okay. the that kind of stuff. So, we, but we will see that. Okay, but even, even so, this month, this 135 is actually 9, not one or 95, whatever. You talk about the 135 and the big six? No. You said about the AC third floor. Do you have this? Yeah. Um, I think if they can see it, it's 135. You know, it should be on the house. Well, yeah, but ultimately, that's where that would be. Yeah, right. Right. So it means either we have savings, which if we use school choice funds, it stays in school choice, or can we do additional AC that hasn't been considered as part of this? Okay. Great, and I also, since the big projects are kind of, you know, we, on all of them, we hope to come in under. Yeah. And with that savings, obviously, it's, if one of these projects takes us to turn left mm -hmm. and we run into some overages because we didn't predict, you know, we might have some savings from those other ones, too. So, but you're right, but I, don't, I want to put on paper what we think it's going to be, and be, I'd rather be conservative and then, okay. and then kind of, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. And, then we have that we have a problem of savings, which is a wonderful plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's fine. Especially since all the money's already in hand. You know, it'd be different if I had to go out and ask for it and then ask for too much. You know, that kind of stuff. So um, all right, so the other one, so that's so you know, what are people's thoughts on AC in the third floor of the high school and funding it in that fashion? So I mean, basically, you're making your, we're going to go off of you're going to yeah. vote, you know recommend that, and then we take it to the school committee for them to vote it efficient. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. School choice says eighty five thousand. Yes, you could do that. Yes, could you do ninety five thousand? Yes. I, I mean, I mean, if if this really only costs ninety five thousand, because you're going to get forty thousand from the electric company. You could do it. You could do it without any borrowing. Oh, well, we've already borrowed. Well, we've already borrowed. well, I know, but you said that's zero percent from, no. from every source. Right, but okay. we've already the fifty thousand that we're talking about. about <coughs> yeah. that's already part of the thing. But we have plenty of things to spend money on. Yeah. Right. 
I get what you're saying. Yeah, except you can't add new stuff. No, so. you can only use it for the six existing items. If we approve that plan and then bring it to the school committee and they say that's a great idea, well, does it actually happen this year? Once school committee approves it, yeah. we can move forward with the, the process on that. Project of this size is going to be bidded. Yeah, so, so then they're going to have to go into that summer so. It, if we're restricted up down the big six time, why don't, can't we say that we spend that 50000 on this AC, but then the school choice money, that's we don't have the restrictions on that. That can be spent on something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why don't we call it now? If this 40 comes or whatever comes in from ever source, call it 50 from big six and then remainder from school choice. Exactly. And then that money goes back into school choice. Right. That's the, that's their thought on that. Because right, if you look at the one below that, that's gonna be that's strictly school choice because we don't we can't look at other funding. So um, you know that won't make an impact. And we're also trying to be, you know, school choice is our kind of a is our, our free cash and sense of our backup to our emergencies right now. Um, and with our EMP numbers we're much lower this year, so we're not up, you know, we're, we're after we pay off assessments, we're not going to have nearly as what we had in the past. Um, you know, we can under 200,000 yeah. after that. So, um, anyway, I just want people to know that we're, we're trying to cautiously use school choice, but at the same time, one time expenditures is the best way to use school choice. Um, all right, so, you know, probably made that point there was a good kind of counter mm -hmm. on that. Um, the other, so we probably should talk about these as, a, as the other side as well, as the tennis courts, looking to start you know, basically the estimated cost of 175 is an envelope number. You know, um, back in envelope was given to me. You know, I mean, basically, I get virtually, they were here working on the track. I walked them over, showed them the project, and I said, Can you give me a number where I can start talking about it? And basically, about 150 to 175, basically. A lot of the price of that change is based on how much the fencing has to be replaced. And so we're proposing that we begin to conduct the preliminary parts of the project by hiring a designer to come and look out, give us some more firm numbers, um, and do that with school trips. Right? Now looking for the whole 175. No. No, just because we don't even know if 175 is the real number. So we're, we're basically on there saying, let's. Do the study and the initial preliminary work find out what the real cost is we know we've missed the bidding window for this type of project so we're going to miss this kind of season you know likely we've missed next year as well so we're really probably looking at two more fiscal years before we're even starting this so just getting the legwork in place and doing what we need to do to be prepared it's the same thing on these ac these units are six months are these still six months out or just kitchen open so there is, you know, they're having trouble getting hold of them. So a lot of these projects, but that could that could be the issue, though. There is in, in, in six months because I do know several of the vendors that I spoke to this week are in a bunch of schools around here doing the same thing we are. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, so. I guess what I'm looking for in those, hearing those two projects, I'm looking for motions to move those forward to school committee as, as right now, as written, unless someone wants to modify that. I'll make a motion. I'll second. You guys hear that all right? You guys on the screen here, you can't hear my face. You guys hear yeah. that all right? Yeah, I, I, heard, I heard it all right. What's, what's the amount for the study or for the, one. The designer of the project? Yeah. We probably will have to get a number. Yeah. So we'll get a number. How about we get a number for school? We'll get a number for when we bring it to school committee um, based on a project of 175000 envelope-wise. You're going to say design is going to be what's the number that we have? I remember what was on the track. It wasn't even 10%. It wasn't 10% on a project like that. So it's going to, let's say it's about 10%. So you're going to be looking at maybe a seventeen thousand um, dollar. It won't be, it may not even be that much, but I'm saying 
on the, on the conservative end, um, we'll get that number to bring it to school committee. But this group is saying, yes, let's begin that project, find out what the cost is, and recommend that to school committee. Does that make sense, Phil? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, I, the, the, the only undesirable outcome would be to fund the design and then have the designer say you, can, you can't afford the project or it's whatever. so. Um, right, but the most likely we've been using Berkshire Design and they're the ones who gave me the envelope number. So hopefully, yeah. it, but I guess the other side is we gotta start somewhere and we don't start now. We won't have tennis as a as a, on courts for the, a much longer period of time. Yeah. This is already saying we're going to we're going to hold those together for another two years, which is probably already pushed it too far. But yeah. and I it is. Like probably too much. Yeah. All right. So the first and the second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. yeah. Yes. Good. Um, now going back to, um, the discussion, well, maybe we'll, we'll talk about the roof, maybe we'll back and we'll talk, talk about whether or not we should, uh, what we should do with the borrowing. Um, we were talking about whether or not a roof study is necessary because basically, again, for those who are watching is that. You know, we have around four hundred thousand dollars that was put together aside for the big six to replace some part of the flat roofs. In investigating of that, and since this was put together, which is over five years ago, the roof is aging every year. Our flat roofs are starting to, to disintegrate, and we're going to be looking at a full roof project within. I'll just use general terms within the next seven to ten years. Okay, um, so the question was: Should we be looking? You want to talk a little bit about this? Yeah. You like, no? No. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. um, I think it, seven to ten years is maybe even pushing it. Yeah. Um, according to our, our roofer, and uh, we have just under a million square feet of roof. And if we were to totally re remove this, the Seraphil roof and the uh, insulation underneath it, you know, we'd be looking at a, a several million dollars. Um, I'd like to see us possibly use small small amount of this money that's been allocated to the roof to do a, a, a roof study where um, architectural uh, roof management would come up and do a um, an infrared scan and then that would let us know if the iso underneath the roof could be reused or not which is a big deal that's a million dollars of a project right there um, and they also take some core samples and sample it um, so that, that's where I, I think we should start. Do you know that we have the cost of that? that that's 20000 <clears throat> And that's for the company, um, the architect, and myself to go up there and for them to perform that and get those answers, which is, again, a starting point. Thoughts on that? Yeah. yeah that was gonna say, it, it's probably some useful information that I may not add to it. But, uh, well, I think when we start talking about a project this size, we better have our facts straight. Yeah. Um, you know, it's different when we ask for twenty thousand dollars. It's a lot more different when we ask for two or three million, and then how we're going to go about. It. It's going to be a much bigger conversation coming down the track. So I think um, if you hear a motion to move forward with the, <clears throat> using two hundred thousand um, to do a roof study. Oh, that's Yeah. I am I am very much invested into studies. <laughs> um so yeah, twenty thousand to move that forward to school committee for their oh, uh, second. Discussion. All those in favor? Yes. Well, I, Good. I, I don't suppose we can stagger the project. The, the only bummer about doing it all at once is I'm going to come up with do it again later, but I don't know that we can break it up. What, what are you saying? Instead of what? Like instead of doing the whole roof. Well, that's how phased by it. Right, that's, I think we'll learn what the conditions yeah. of each section yeah. of the roof are. Because originally, 
it was a good question because he's you know asking to do this as a staggered project there might be something we can do um originally that's how it was lined up bob was looking at some of the flats that were causing the most problems yeah um you know one of the ones that we did on our tour like above that, the, yeah. the locker room that had the most um whatever versus some other areas but meanwhile things age since the beginning of this conversation so yeah. but you're, you're you're exactly right though there's um things have aged but um i have a overhead view of the school that i made i just didn't have time to make this nice enough to share it with y'all yet but um there's a couple of roofs that um, he feels are two or three years out there's a couple that he feels are four and, and one that could go six seven and so we still could stagger this year right um and that same roof is the <laughs> is the worst one Right. Or the locker room, yeah. the boys' locker room. So, yep. sure. yep. that was well yep. that we looked at. Right? Yep. Yeah. And that's also the one with all the. There's a lot of equipment on the roof. Yep. The, the new rooftop yeah. units up there. There was already another one up there. And um, also, if you if you go around and really look closely at the building, the, the scuppers, which are, are the drains that allow the water to come off the roof and, and run down the building, um, you can see where the, the, the scuppers are starting to need maintenance, which is going to lead into the the, the mortar of the bricks. Yeah. Um, because they're not letting the water run out away from the building. Um, so it all, you know, the longer you wait, the more it gets into. And then I think um, talking to Ed and, and everyone here probably has more experience than this with me, but the MSBA uh, group takes a long time. So you have four towns that you now have to get an agreement. So I, I think these talks at this point are really good that we're starting this. Right, and that's going to be a debate. The debate whether to use the MSBA is going to be. Plenty of opinions of that in these towns already. So it's going to be a heck of a conversation. I think knowing, doing the study and knowing what we have is probably the best start. And then we can say, okay, how the MSB is really going to be about paying for it. Um, but it does increase the cost of some of those projects. So maybe not increase the cost for us, but increase the cost of the project. And that's, one of the, that's the big debate. Um, all right, good. So now that takes us back to the original discussion, um, which is, do we rake, do we put a capital request on from our, um, another one from our list? I, don't, I can't pull it up because I have the computer's broadcasting. Yep. This computer's broadcasting that screen on the YouTube, so I can't use my computer. That's why my always my office has three computers going down. <laughs> but you have what you have, is there, is there anything else I can I could have a thing to up? There is number line 32 is, is, is getting to be real important. Right. So he's talking about the we have a lot of kitchen needs, including the walk-in freezer, um, ovens, you know, that kind of stuff, you know. You can rate, you can pick the project based on a number, but that's about fifty thousand um, dollars. So we have that option where we could try to, we could put that on a warrant, or we could go the model of this year we're asking to pay down the capital, start that the capital. Um, sorry, the the loan that we have, and we come up with a number that we recommend each town do. Um, Either way, both are you know going to cost the town, and both are going to help us in the long run. Thoughts? I think I'm going to fill on this one, and then we keep the. I think we keep it moving forward. I mean, we were all in the kitchen. We saw the need. I don't think in my entire time here we ever had a conversation about the kitchen. We've certainly talked about the roof, the floor, the carpets, and the AC. It's a it's a new topic. Um, and I think it's important to the people that are that are here and they're eating and the kids and everything. You know, it'll help the new, so the new kitchen um, dining services manager. Um, I like it. I would I would put it on that. We were talking about efficiency setup too, and the more they can get towards that, you know, and, and make it more efficient setup in the kitchen with direction, it'll make it a lot easier. I'm worried about if we're talking specifically about the walk-in. Is that what you mentioned? Well, actually, like, line 32 is the, is the concrete that needs to be built over the usual. Yeah, you saw yeah, line 33. Yeah. So this is just structural? Oh, yeah, so that's the structure underneath. The, <coughs> underneath. Yeah. It's kind of a lawsuit, right? To explain, <laughs> that, to explain <laughs> this, 
the the cooler the, the cooler has had condensation whenever the heating cooling of what's going around the cooler has caused the concrete underneath the cooler to start to deteriorate. And for those who never, if you, if you never went into the basement as far as went to, you probably should have done the security wall, uh, the old bomb shelter. Um, really, I think that's what it was. And, um, but anyway, so that's what you're talking about. That was yep. So he's on a different document. In the yeah. chat. So concrete is only, you're saying 8,000 for the concrete? Yeah, I just got that quote a couple weeks ago. And then is the price of the walk in, my, the reason I was looking at you is because all of our kitchen stuff is coming in way higher than these estimates for okay. other projects we're doing. I'm worried that this is not an up to date number and that we're going to agree to ask for $50 a month. Do you know how well, accurate that number is? Well, I don't is? know. Jeff, Jeffrey got those. I'm not sure. The appliances are coming together. I mean, the dishwashers like through the roof compared to what we thought it was going to be right now. So um, I'm in support of you know doing the project, but I just want to have the right number. Part of that, part of that uh, dishwasher, just real quickly, is um, a lot of these kitchens in the district did not ever have three straps. It's now yeah. so that that's it's not that the dishwasher went up that much. It's that there's some added plumbing. added plumbing code that they yeah. probably got to have a three strap. Yep, especially with all the you know, wastewater. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, wondering, I'm glad you're worried about your good yeah, sir. Right. See, what a community. What a community. Uh, Looking out for our name. Yeah, that's right. Well, we'll take, we want to make sure you take care of their right. I'm um, wondering if this group could vote on an amount cap. You know, I'm going to yes, say 100000 okay. just yes. to throw a number out right. there. We figure out what the actual cost is going to be, and hopefully it's under that, and that's what we move forward with. The cost. And it gives us some time to do the behind the scenes work. Okay, you a round number. Yeah. Thoughts of the my screen people? That's you guys. <laughs> no, um, take take care, take care of stuff. Take care of stuff. Um I, I, yeah, I agree with Phil. Just yep. I mean, if the if the kitchen stuff needs to be done, we need to do it, I guess. And that's just the beginning of it. Yeah. Yeah. There's like five yeah. things on the list, and that's yeah. why I also want to go back and say, because you talked about the efficiency of the kitchen, we taste the walking. That did not change anything. It's just sitting right there. And there's a door. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the door opens better, it closes better. But outside of that, that, that spacing, and, you know, being a little. I would talk. I would probably have another people sit down with Jeff and have another conversation that says the order of impact. You know what? Um, but we also can't have a walking that fails. Actually, yeah, as well. So, because then you lose all the stuff you've right. yeah. um, So, and, and I suspect some of the efficiencies that we can probably get done, it's more of rearranging things to yeah. stuff with. But, but the, yeah. the new stoves and that kind of stuff is, was, was, a, was a big player. So, that's something those are on the list. But he doesn't know what the new equipment Well, especially you know, like the footprint is or anything. Right. Now. right. You want a motion? So, but we need to have a number for that motion. Are you thinking of the baby? Are you thinking of the baby? And I don't know really what the towns look like for finance. If you're talking 100, you know, to your fields. Right. They're not going to be up there. Right. <laughs> so that might be beyond the reach, but maybe we, you know, can we say 75? And will this be a, a warrant item? Yeah. 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 Which really doesn't give us a lot of wiggle room between the concrete and the, it's only about an additional 12,000. But that, you know, that should be reasonable, I think. So it's eight for the concrete, and then that's 20 to 25% wiggle room on, on the box. Yeah. So the, yeah. For the walk-in, is it just the chili that has to be done, or is it the whole structure? The whole structure. Yeah. Yeah. It's both whole structure. So it's essentially the whole thing. Yeah. They've resealed the door so that the door closes better, but yep. the freon is leaking several yeah. times already. And that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. yeah just one question. Like, do we know what we need to do to prevent 
if we can repair the concrete, but like in other words, to prevent that from happening again, like was it something with the construction of the old walk in or no, no, it was more a moisture problem. We have salt pumps down there now. And, um, oh, so it was through the groundwater? No, no we're, right, we're right on the water. Yeah. Yep. And actually, yeah, okay. And I know I got some numbers on the groundwater level. That's a common problem. So we're, we're looking at 75,000, not to exceed 75,000. Uh, motion. That one. Yeah. Good question. Would this have to pass an all four towns? Right. Three no, of them. And yeah. where that was. That was. Yeah, it doesn't need to pass in all four towns. It needs to pass in Deerfield plus one. Really? Yeah. I think it's, capital all four. It's, it's, oh, you know what? You might be right. Hmm. I think it's all four. Yeah. Uh, all, 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 all. Let's go. Let's swing to the fence and say it's all four. It's, yeah. Um, this makes me appreciate Conway. We're only small percentage. So. <laughs> <laughs> because what happened with that is, I remember a few years back. Phil, do you remember a few years back when? Yeah. You know, few years back, somebody changed. One of the towns changed. The, I wasn't superintendent. But Changed the on town meeting floor and it ruined it for everybody. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so, and they said it was ruined for everybody, they still voted it. I don't remember what town it was, you guys can own up to it. Um, you know, where they changed the town meeting floor, and then we said if you change it, we can't do it. And then that was kind of like their way of saying, Yeah, we'll do it, change it up next time. It had to do with the electricity going to the garage, they removed it, so then no longer was it funded, and then. Anyway, so yeah, it was Deerfield. It was Deerfield. Yeah, it was Deerfield. They're not here, so we'll do that. Let's <laughs> know they're here. The thing is, we're going to start. All right, so there was a clarification, and all in favor? Aye. 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 That was a lot. That's our agenda. That was a. Yeah. Uh, so nothing here? for the loan. We're not looking at. We're choosing to do capital projects instead of recommending a pay down to existing bands. Right. Okay. I think we should probably communicate to the towns that they could pay down that. We probably should spend it with the no that we're not making. You know. But you can. Work. No, there's no formal work, you know, recommendation from the school committee, but the towns are welcome just to pay down. They run into money that they don't look comparable presentations to other you know, you know, finance committees. So that, yep. that would be part of your presentation. So okay. we could mechanically still, how would that work in terms of procedure? If I wanted to, we suddenly found a nice pot of cash somewhere. So when we renew the van, yep. it would have to be paid by that July 15th date. And that portion would come off, and we would just review the new amount. So, with the next assessment, that town's assessment would be reduced by probably. Yeah, you look good now. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if do math. Well, there you go. You have to do the math, Shelly. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, I don't want to get all the hands down. Okay. It's budget season. It is. Yeah. So, green budget season. Um, anything else? Do we want to try to see us the next meeting? Do you want to do that or do you want to take it? Yeah, let's, right now, I'm not, we wouldn't have, this would be our last meeting because, okay, one, it's going to get far more difficult during budget season. Two, these are the decisions to vote in budget season. And so the yeah. next time we would meet would be maybe in the spring to talk about any of these projects and where we're at with the summer, the summer projects and any updates there too. So I'll be in touch with you with you that kind of thing. Um, does that make sense? And so uh, this one was kitchen improvements. More detail coming later. 
Correct. You, right? you, right, you, correct. You voted it to not to exceed 75000 right. and we have to give you the details. So we'll have to know what to stand up and talk about the town. Yes. Then we'll talk about that. Stuff. Yeah. I mean, it becomes so. We're going to advise school committee. School committee will eventually vote the final piece there, but we advise them to do up to seventy-five thousand dollars in warrants for the kitchen. On town meeting floor, really, school committee should be the one. But I know, but you but it's unusual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To have a school warrant item. But I just you, want to yeah. Right yeah. No, we we we've done it before. Done times. Yeah. No, we do that every year, Bob. Almost. Yeah. yeah, we should be doing it every year. Yeah. Right. No. Oh, well, right. I just want to make sure we were talking about the same thing. Yes, okay. yes, that's on the kitchen so equipment. Call the kitchen equipment, and then like just make it like super generic. What do we want? No, I, I, I need to walk. I, mean, I misspoke yeah. there. I was thinking it was like yeah. 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 kind of like in the list of where. Yep. That's the first one that has to get done according to the Um. And. Motion to adjourn. Uh, motion. Aye. Um, motion second. All in favor? All right. Thank you. Thank you.